court has sent a man to six months imprisonment for stealing three tubers of yam. It's very heartbreaking, but let me explain. Now, first, you need to understand that I would never support stealing of any kind. But you need to also understand that there's some stealing that you know that this stealing is powered or provoked or sponsored by hunger. With the current situation in Nigeria now, and if something is not done about it, time will come that people will start stealing pot of soup. You wake up in the morning and say that they will break into your house. They don't want your money. They just want food. You will just notice that they will start stealing goat and fowl. They will start stealing food because people are so hungry that they just want to eat. Now, court sentenced that guy, you know, stole three tubers of yam. The sentence into six months imprisonment. He no say full chop. He go thief yam. Remember, I said I do not support stealing, but you know that this stealing is sponsored by hunger. And where's that hunger from? High inflation in Nigeria. People are hungry. They cannot even afford food again. You know, you know how much is for it? A bag of rice now is almost hundred and three thousand naira. Tell me, a civil servant can he afford it? Some people's salary is. 50,000 naira. How do people survive in Nigeria now? Do you know how tough the country is? The country is so tough that people are now stealing tubers of yam. We have people who are stealing billions with biro. They are working freely with escorts and SUV. Court has not sentenced any of them. Now, this is the reason why I say that we need to call for the reform of judiciary system in Nigeria, including INEC. Those people need to be reformed or else forget 2027 general election. Forget it. Saying there will be election in 2027 is doesn't make sense as long as the electoral system and the judiciary system remains the same the court or the judiciary system in nigeria is meant for a poor man you are guilty as long as you don't have money that is the current situation in nigeria i'm sorry to say it but that is the reality we the nigerian youth need to do something we need to call it and how do we do that start holding your senators accountable your house of rep members they need to start passing policies that will recall or reform those electoral system that will reform the judiciary system go to kuje prison go to all the prisons in nigeria the highest number of people there those small small things maybe this one still five thousand naira. oh this one still this and that you cannot see somebody this ah that man he embezzled 40 million they know they jail they are moving around with suv oh that man embezzled 80 billion naira from kogi state no if they carry suv they work out or oh, they will show you that one embezzled humanitarian fund no that one he carry suv they work out but the one that could not afford food, he stole three tubers of yam, who was sentenced to six months imprisonment for stealing food. Welcome to Nigeria, our dear lovely country, supposed giant of Africa, which the citizens are hungry. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.